What a writer should look for in a lead producer is somebody that's multifaceted, somebody who um, can be on set, hopefully, uh, that can run a set. And then also somebody that has relationships, meaning do they have relationships with other directors, talent, other production companies that have financing, studios, distributors. Those are going to be really important. They don't need to do all of those things, but at least somebody that can be, bring something significant to the table like that, where they have a lot of access to me, is the best way to get started. Every project has multiple producers, so it's not like they need to do everything. But in order to really get you to push forward, it's going to be helpful to have somebody that can say, hey, I can make a phone call to this person. How you find them is, is the trickier part. I'd say it's doing your research. How we've grown our firm over the years and made sure that we've kept up to date on what's going in the marketplace is we've attended a lot of markets and film festivals where we've reached out and asked people to meet with us and just really gotten information of what's going on in the market. How are you getting involved in projects? Why? And developing those relationships. I think what's really cool about what's happening right now is a lot of people can't afford to go to all these festivals and markets. So many of them are virtual now and we'll probably be keeping a virtual component for at least the next couple of years. You can buy a badge at a lot cheaper to get access to seeing who's attending these and trying to set meetings with them or trying to do generals with them or trying to send them information. And those are people who are pretty active, right? Like they have a film in one of the major festivals or something, so you know they're doing work. I think that's a really cool way to start doing it. Networking, it's so key to building relationships and then following what's going on in the trades. Who's doing what? When are they doing it? How long are they booked up for? The pretty major ones are Variety, Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, Screen International, IndieWire, The Wrap, even like IMDb stuff. Like they even do their own news feeds now. Uh, the good thing about producing is they're usually taking on multiple projects at a time. So you don't have to be too worried that they're super booked up. You know, they'll probably have an exec or somebody that you can call. If you find a company that you like and you think, oh, this company could be a great production company for my project, try and get to the creative executive there. Creative executives are people that are kind of like growing. They have a lot to prove. They tend to still be very excited about their job, really wanting to show, you know, that they can find good talent. So trying to get through to them, they tend to be a little bit more open to if you have a good pitch and you can, um, you know, speak really well about what you want for your project. Thank you.